Recently, we showed you some awesome street art in San Francisco's Mission District and how to use street art as an incredible backdrop for your photos. But you know what? We have some pretty great street art and murals right here in Los Angeles. And what better place to show it off to you than the LA Arts District? So I'm in an area of town that was once home to industry and manufacturing, then got discovered by artists as a cheaper alternative to do their work. Now it's thriving, arts everywhere. There's even a lot of tech firms who come down here because of the cheaper rents. The Arts District is a great place for a photo shoot. As you'll see, we've got two young family friends, Natalie and Charlotte, are gonna pose for us in front of the art. And I've got five great ways to get portraits done in front of street art that I hopefully will help you out. No fancy camera tricks needed, no expensive cameras needed. I'm shooting on the camera that you probably have, the camera that's in your pocket, the smartphone. You can do some pretty amazing stuff on these phones, as you know. Okay, so before we meet our young models, Natalie and Charlotte, let me show you my really easy LA Arts District photo walk. I suggest starting right here at the Arts District Co-op on Coilton Avenue. You could do the entire block and then head over to Traction Avenue for see more street art and my favorite eating establishment, the Pie Hole. Well, here come Natalie and Charlotte. Hi. Hi. Good. Good. Thanks for coming down to the Arts District. Yeah, thank you. You're in a photogenic mood today? Oh, yeah. Feel like taking some pictures? Mm -hmm. Now, I should just say that Charlotte and Natalie are future stars of the big screen, the small screen, the uh, giant stage. They really want to do it all, right? Yeah. Okay, so look for them in 2020, 2032. Yeah. yeah. Big stars then. <laughs> yep. So my number one rule of photography on a day like today is for you guys to have a lot of fun. Just have fun with everything you're doing. Okay, so you got the typewriter, you're gonna have fun with it. Run with it. Can you put yourself into the typewriter? <laughs> Let's do something with the steps. Steps are always fun. This is like if you were advertising for sneakers, <laughs> this would be really good, yeah. Can, you guys could not fit on there, could you? So I like to use whatever we've got. You got this funny step coming out of something and you guys look amazing up there. Don't you think, Robin? So tell us all about your selfie technique. So I don't have very long arms, but you want to hold it like up high so yeah. both of you guys can get in and like kind of farther away from your face so that you can get as much of the background in as possible. Now I would only ask if you came out a little bit, yeah. you'd blur a little bit of the background, even more, even more, even oh, more, yeah. even more, even more. Yes, now do it. I love to get shots of uh, we're looking down the alley a little bit. We, we got the background blurred in portrait mode. What if you did a traditional looking at the camera and smiling and hugging each other? Okay, now Charlotte, you should move over a little bit so the, the wings take, take over you, right? And Natalie, are you gonna put up your arms a bit or? Okay, now do you guys know the great panoramic trick? Oh, the one where you do like double? You know that one, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it right now. Okay. This trick is basically, we're gonna have two Charlottes and one Natalie. Got it? Okay, so Charlotte, start off next to Natalie. And when I give you your cue, you're gonna run behind me and go on the other side of Natalie. <clears throat> so here we go. This might be a little tight. Okay, Charlotte, go. Charlotte, go. <laughs> That's so cute. And I'd actually also do portrait mode. Let's see how we're gonna do. 
I have to come back here. That's really nice. Now, do you know this trick? Yeah, you could change the blur by clicking the f-stop up there, and I could... Wow, that's so oh, cool. That's cool, too. Yeah. So, you could do all that. Yeah. You ready to be runway models? Yes. All right. So, I'm gonna do this on burst mode. You ever do burst mode? Because you could take um, zillions of shots real fast. The way to use burst mode is on the volume button. You know that. Yeah. Your runway models, you're walking really slow, really theatrical in slow motion. And give me lots of attitude. So Charlotte and Natalie, did you have a good time? Yes. 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 What was yes. the highlight? Um, I loved the jumping butterfly wings. Uh, just playing around with yeah. different poses. Yeah. What was your favorite pose? Mm, I liked on when we got onto the like ceramic thing that like the cement that was floating above the pipe. <laughs> so it's using the elements, whatever's yeah. there, and having fun with it. Mm -hmm. Right. I like slow mo. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to top slow mo. Mm -hmm. And your jump in slow mo was amazing. Yeah. yeah. So I'd like to thank everyone for joining us on this photo walk in the LA Arts District. And please stay tuned for more photo walks episodes and stay tuned 2032, stars of the stage and screen. <laughs> Charlotte and Natalie, I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna do. Thanks for joining thank me. You. Bye. But before you go, don't forget to check out our magazine on Flipboard featuring images from today's episode. And if you've been to the Arts District, I'd love you to contribute some of your work as well. Just email photowalkstv at gmail.com for an invite. Thanks a lot.